Hello everyone, this is uh, Jim from JB Designs and Manufacturing. Glad to see you guys uh, here once once again. Uh, as for today's video, we're going to be concentrating on making custom icons um, for those Big Tree Tech TFT screens. Um, pretty simple process. I'm going to go over it pretty quickly. Hopefully you grasp the concepts I'm putting out there and you're able to make your own um, awesome icons the way that you want to see them. All right, so the first step we need to do is to go to the GitHub site where we can access the files we need um, before we can actually start modifying them. Um, the site is uh, github.com forward slash big tree tech forward slash big tree tech dash touchscreen firmware. You can also access this link in the description of this video for quicker access. We're going to go, once we get here, we're going to then go to the code button and we're going to hit the download zip. This will be downloading to your download section um, or your download folder. Once you have it, you're then going to unzip this to wherever you would want to access this. So for me, I unzipped this to my desktop already, um, so I'm not going to unzip it again. Now, once you open up the file after it's been unzipped, you will find these folders included as well as the files. But there's only going to be one folder we're going to concentrate on, and that is the copy to SD card root directory to update. We're going to double click this. And then you're going to see a few things in here. There's only three really important things. Um, you would need in order for you to update the firmware of whichever screen you are trying to update. That is the theme, so the look of it, your bin, which is all the information needed, and the configuration file. Okay, those three get put into your SD card. The only ones we're concentrating on are our themes. Each one of these themes looks a little different. Okay, you can take your time to look at some of these for the style that you want or you predominantly want um, and just make some modifications to a few of the icons if you wish or if you want to create your entire if you want to do the whole all the icons to your liking or to your customizations you're more than welcome to do that too so it really doesn't matter which theme you would pick um, you would just pick any of them and just edit them directly but what I'm doing is I'm going to be sticking with the newest versions of what I've seen on the touch screens um, lately. And that's the unified menu material theme. Okay. Now before I even open this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of it. Reason being, um, I'm going to be editing these. And if I want to access this folder again, and I want to just put it back to stock then I would have the access to those files so right now I'm just going to paste in the um, the same theme again that's a copy but now I'm going to rename this and it's going to be modified okay I'm going to hit enter. Now this is going to be a new theme put into it. And all I'm going to do is then just click and find the screen that I want to update. So for me it's going to be the TFT35. Go into the BMP. And now we have access to all the icons. Now it's, this is an important part because we need to determine what the size is of the icons that we um, want to replace or modify. Now for me, um, one of the ones I want to modify is, let me find it, is the stop one. Uh, there we are. Alright, so the stop BMP icon. Um, I got a special photo I want to put in for that. 
So basically what I'm going to do is just hover my cursor over the image and I'm looking at the dimensions. It's going to say 95 by 95. Those are the amount of pixels the image needs to be okay, in order for it to work. That's important. Also as important is the name. Stop. And the file type. BMP. What I'm going to do now. I'm going to go onto my desktop and I'm going to open the image that I want to edit. What you're looking at is a picture of my son and he's got his hands up and he's saying stop. He's got a nice stern look on his face. So, to edit this photo, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to resize. Right now the photo stands at 512 at 512. I'm going to get a defi um, custom, or I should say 600 by 600. I'm going to custom, and now I'm going to type in exactly 95. Having the maintain aspect, aspect ratio set, it will automatically do width and height the same. I'm going to make this as high quality as I can. Now I'm going to save this. Now once it's saved, I'm going to, once I find the image, or to save it, I'm going to write in stop. And I've got to change the type of the file, which is going to be a BMP. And I'm going to hit save. Now, this should be saved onto my desktop. So now, what I'm going to do, open up my icons. And now I'm going to find the image on my desktop. You can see here, stop BMP. I'm simply going to drag it on or into this folder. And what this should come up is a replace the file and destination. That means we're effectively replacing a file with the same name. And we already know which one it is. It's this one right here. So we're going to then hit replace. And now this picture is effectively my stop icon that I will see on my screen. Okay. Now, let's do one where we're going to have to do a little bit of size modifications because it's not exactly the size that we see. So, for instance, the opening screen. So, there's a vertical and a horizontal. depends on um, which direction you set your screen to and what that image is going to be. I'm going to have two different images. One that's going to uh, be made for horizontal one that's going to be made for vertical. I'm going to look at the vertical one first, and I'm going to look at the dimensions, 320 by 480. And I'm going to go find that image that I wanted to use. Okay, so here is an image right here that I want to use. It's my family. And now I'm going to go to resize. Let's see what happens when we put in the exact size again. So let's look back again. It's going to be 320 by 480. Now, because these are very similar to each other, they're going to be different. So we have to remove the maintain aspect ratio. So 320. 480 and let's see what happens to the picture after we're done this All right, we're going to put in uh, the name is logo portrait within okay logo portrait bmp Save. All right, now this is the way it looks when I modified this file. It kind of squished me in, right? And it might not be exactly what you would want. So this is going to uh, be needing a little bit more modification than just um resizing it if you want to get it perfectly um, uh, to, to the proportional I should say.
Now to make the image to the actual size it needs to be, instead of squishing the image, we're now going to go to resize. We're going to go down to define custom dimensions. We're going to keep the maintain aspect ratio up, but we're going to edit both or one of these to the highest number or the highest size that the image is. So for this image, for the portrait, it's going to be the height that's the highest, and that is 480. Okay. The reason we do this is that we're going to be editing this photo later, cropping it, um, and we want at least the largest size to be determined so we can take away from the width only and not worry about the height at this point. We're going to make this to the highest quality, and we're going to go ahead and hit save. and save and yes now I'm gonna open this up with a photo editing software for me I'm just gonna use paint because it's a pretty simple process okay and paint kinda gives you the ruler to so see above it what the sizes are so you can see it's 480 down here it's 480 up here um, we're gonna be worrying about taking away from this image here some parts of it so we're gonna keep cropping this until we get it down to 320 so I'm going to use the rectangular tool and I'll come across I'm going to start taking away from this image so it looks like we're gonna be cutting off get it down to 42 crop it and from this corner here, we need to still remove 10. Get down to 320. So, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I think what I'll do is keep one here. So I'm going to cut my wife's head off. and take one away here oh, that was a mistake try that again starting at 9 here and going to 41 or 4 10 and then I'm going to hit crop and now the image should be at 320 by 480. Now I'm going to do is go to save as. I'm going to make this a 24 bit bitmap. And I'm also going to name it the name that we need to. And that is logo portraits. And we're going to hit save. Exit out of this. Open up our icons folder. We're then going to drag this in. We're going to replace the file. And sure enough, we have our new icon folder or icon, which looks like this. Okay. And we can do the same thing for the other images. We just, get, again, it's just simply resizing and um, cutting, cropping, whatever it is you need to do to get it to the right size. And sure enough, we can look at the sizes here. This is 320 by 480. This is 95 by 95. And there are different size um, icons, so not all of the ones that you you see that look square could be of that size and of these here if you're going for these these are definitely a different size so you have to really keep in mind what the sizes are to get them in the correct way um the correct. now that we've modified our images or icons for our screen we're now going to go back out to where 
you know, your modified um, your modified folder and you're gonna click the screen that you modify which again I did the TFT 35 okay you're gonna take this folder and you're gonna drag it onto an SD card what this will do is simply just update the SD card or the um, the screen with the icons so we don't have to reload all the firmware in the uh, config files whatever this is just for the images if you see it as you see here the, the whatever the TFT model is should just be this if it says cur after it so dot cur that means it has already been uploaded to a screen and you just simply just take off the dot cur and then you'll be able to edit it again and then re-upload. Okay. But right now, this is as good as it can be. I'm gonna put take this out, put it into the screen, and upload it. Alright guys, well that's going to do it. Um, the, it looks like the icons did update correctly. And um, as you saw the opening screen, it was the one I set. As well as the stop button where it's my son with his hands up saying stop. Um, both works. Looks great. Um, I will be uploading more um, to those screens as you know more time comes. Um, and hopefully it will be like mostly fully modified to my liking. Um, now, if you had issues uploading your images, um, could have been one of two things usually. One would be it's not the correct size. The other is it's not the correct file type. It's got to make sure that it's a BMP file. Okay. And if you put it into Paint, um, you don't do 16-bit uh, BMP. Do 24. 16-bit will make it essentially a really funky-looking psychedelic kind of color but if you want that go for it All right. um, but at that I got nothing else left on for you so if there's any comments or concerns or needs please put them down below if you have anything additional that you would like to be um, talked about anything with the 3d printing world I'll tr um, try and make a video out of it if I can so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video